Space. In its seemingly unending vastness holds untold mysteries such as the meaning of life, the very nature of the universe, why women only date people who are six foot or higher, are we alone in this great plane? And why did Hoyaverse make Dehya so terrible? Well, we can't answer that, but we can answer the question of what the new challenge is today. Welcome, everyone to Honkai Star Rail, more notably the Harmony Only Challenge. So why Harmony Only? Well, besides being one of the tougher challenge accounts you could possibly do for this game. We have never invested in Harmony units before, not even on our main account, so this challenge is to see if these units are as good as people say, but you're probably wondering why is this particular challenge so hard. Well, the reason it is considered so difficult is because as of the time of recording, there are only four Harmony characters available to the player. Those being Asta, Tingyan, Yukong, and Bronya. Now, you may be sitting there thinking to yourselves, but Biggs, isn't that a whole team right there? What's the problem? And to that, we say yes, but actually no. Well, you see, both Bronya and Tingyan are not 100% guaranteed, unless we get really lucky on our warp pulls. Unlike Yukong and Asta, and even Yukong is not available to us straight away as we must progress through a majority of the second planet's story, or again, we get super lucky on our warp pulls. So why start this now? Well, as of recording October 11th, 2023, Honkai Star Rail released on PlayStation 5. And not only that, it released with a new 5-star character in Jing Liu, and while we can't use Jing Liu herself, she does have Tingyan on her banner. So right now is the perfect time for us to start this type of challenge before she goes away. Now with all that covered, it's time we get into the rules for the challenge. Firstly, we can only use characters that follow the Path of Harmony. Any instance where we are forced to use trial characters will not be counted as a fail as we no control over it. It will only be counted as a fail if we willingly use a character of a different path outside of this condition. For the second rule, we must reach and defeat all and game content available in-game. So without further ado, let's get into the challenge. But before we get into it, these videos really do take a lot of time to write, record, and piece together. So if you could leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing, it would really mean the world to us. Thank you for watching and have yourself a lovely day. Getting into the challenge, we get 3D printed by Kafka and Silver Wolf, we decided to choose the male MC for this challenge purely for the fact that we choose Stell on our main account. And proceed to name ourselves, Harmony Only, to let the world know what kind of torture we are subjecting ourselves to. After being fully printed, we experience a scene that every Kafka main wishes was them instead. Ah! It should have been me, not him! It's not me! So after printing us out on the universe's biggest 3D printer, and putting a literal bomb inside our body, Kafka and Silver Wolf just nonchalantly say they have to leave us behind, and tell us to go with a bunch of mystery strangers. 10 out of 10, parenting. Sure enough, we pass out, and after a while we come to, just in time to catch Dan Hang trying to wake us up sleeping beauty style. After finally regaining consciousness, we introduce ourselves to the ever-adorable March 7th and the silent night Dan Hang. March 7th and Dan Hang then explain to us that the space station is under attack by entities called the Antimeter Legion, and that the area is no longer safe, and we have to get to safety. From here on out the game puts us in one big scripted tutorial where we learn the general flow of combat, skills, ultimates, weaknesses, ambushes, and lastly weakness breaks, and other key game knowledge. After fighting through the tides of Legion Brutes, we reach the elevator to the master control zone. However, March breaks the elevator and we are let stranded. Fortunately, the Dark Knight himself, no, not Batman. Dan Hang comes to our rescue, 
having found the wounded head of security and leading them somewhere safe, Dan Heng tells us that Arlen, the head of security, may know a way to fix the elevator. So we proceed to the control room with our newest teammate to find Arlen, who honestly does not look that worse for wear to us, and once we tell him about our elevator troubles, tells us that lead researcher Asta should have given Dan Heng and March 7th a card to activate the elevator. So in traditional March fashion, after remembering she had the key for the elevator this entire time, we make our way up to the master control zone and meet with the star of the show for the foreseeable future. However, as we near the master control zone, we are jinxed by March and are forced to fight off a legion ambush. But just as things were looking dire for us, we receive a much needed assist from our favorite character, Himeko. After talking with Himeko about the current situation, we meet our first teammate and lead researcher of the Herda space station Asta, whose multiple attempts to contact the owner of the space station has been met with silence. After speaking with Asta, we finally unlock the ability to warp and with it gain access to our first Harmony unit of the series, and finally after more than an hour of gameplay, the challenge can officially begin. And now with the ability to warp, we proceeded to claim all the pre-order and registration rewards from our mail, including the character Serval and a light cone we can't use. We also proceeded to switch our party, so we only have Asta and Emeko. Thanks to the pre-registration rewards and the pre-order rewards, we had 22 standard warp wishes, so we decided to pull on the departure warp banner in hopes that we could get either Bronya, Tingyin, or Yukong. However, nothing could have prepared us for what came next. In a moment of sheer luck, we managed to pull the five star on our second 10 pull. However, that is when disaster struck, Yet, in a moment of hope thinking we got Bronya, Fate decided to say no and give us this game's version of Kiki from Genshin Impact. You blew it! With our disappointment being immeasurable and our day ruined, we thought we would try one last time. After claiming two Star Rail passes from the exchange shop, we went on to do our last 10 pull for the foreseeable future and, well, the game must really want us to do a hunt-only challenge. Because we got Sushong and a four-star hunt light cone on our very next pull, dumbfounded we picked our jaw off the floor and continued on with the challenge. We then went on to equip our Asta with the meditation, light cone to boost our team's speed for one turn when entering combat, and level it up to level 20 to give Asta some much needed stat boosts. After that, we proceeded to level up Asta to level 20 to increase her stats as much as possible for the upcoming boss fight against the Doomsday Beast. But before that, we were told to see if any of the researchers needed help, so we calmed down Abraham and then helped Hinkle align some machinery. After helping out the researchers, the situation begins to get dire. As the Doomsday Beast begins to rip through the space station's shields, Asta then tells us to take the Express and leave while staying behind. On our way to the Express, we stop to have a team meeting. Himeko tells the group that it's of utmost importance that they leave and take us with them as we have the power to turn the tide of the fight against the Legion. After the team meeting, we head to the supply zone and rendezvous with the Astral Express, engaging with a few enemies along the way. However, by engaging with these enemies, the realization of how difficult this challenge was going to be hit us like a freight train. You see, Asta can do a lot of damage to both the enemy's health and their weakness bars, but only if she is going up against one to two enemies at a time. But if she fights more than two at any given time, that damage suddenly becomes much less reliable. Which oftentimes lead to seeing moments like this. And this. But with determination and a few clever uses of food, here 
And there, we finally managed to reach the platform and our first official boss fight of the series, the Doomsday Beast. Getting into the fight, the Doomsday Beast always starts off with two swipes which do respectable damage to us. However, compared to the enemies on the way here, we hold advantage in this fight. All three parts of the Doomsday Beast are weak to fire, and as we said before, Asta can reliably break fire. Weak enemies, which makes her and Emeko a potent combo in this fight. As the fight progresses, we begin to get more and more confident that we can beat this fight, continuously Himeko to basic attack, and Asta's skill to break the hands and core, while using ultimates off cooldown was making short work of the Doomsday Beast. And once the Antimeter engine was broken, we even managed to take down the boss's first health bar with record time. But pride cometh before the fall, in our overconfidence, we forgot that once the first health bar was taken down, the Doomsday Beast gained access to a brand new move, a move that shook our confidence. At this point, the fight became a race to break the various parts of the Doomsday Beast before they could use impending doom again. However, our approach did not work out as shortly after, the boss used it again knocking out Himeko. With only Asta left on the field, the fight looked unwinnable. Taking a heavy hit from yet another impending doom attack, Asta managed to survive with a small portion of health left. From there, we basic attack taking down the core. And in the boss's weakened state, we let loose Asta's skill and secured the win, beating our first boss of the challenge. However, that was not the last we heard of the Doomsday Beast. In one final attempt to destroy us, it let out one last attack aimed at March. But being the hero, we throw ourselves in harm's way to shield her, which leads us to a dreamscape where we meet the Eon of Destruction Nana. And ultimately begin to lose control of the Stellar and put inside us by Kafka. Unable to control the Stellaran's power inside, we channel our inner Goku and let loose a spirit bomb, destroying the Doomsday Beast for good. However, with the Stellaran unstable, we begin to lose control until Mr. Yang comes out of nowhere and contains it with a simple bonk to the head. Coming to after the battle, we find March who explains that we subdued the Doomsday Beast and are the hero, but also informs us that Himeko would like to talk to us, and after giving us her number, leaves us. Is anybody else noticing a theme here? So after finding Himeko, she introduces us to the owner of the Herda space station. Well, Herda, who could only be bothered to join us after all the hard work is already complete. So after being disrespected, and made uneasy by Herda and Emeko talking about our body, as if we was not present, Herda offers to experiment on us, and while be a puppet's lab rat sounds interesting to say the least, Emeko offers us a much more favorable alternative. In all the commotion with the Doomsday Beast, we managed to amass another 20-star rail passes, 
and decided to try our luck again. Ah, oh, hello. You. Do you know what you're getting into? Let me ask you a question. Are you prepared to die for your cause? <laughs> I was acting. So after being struck by the curse of the hunt again, we made our way to meet up with Emeko and embark on our universal adventures with the rest of the Express crew. Where we say farewell to our friends in the Herda space station and meet everybody's favorite conductor, Pom Pom. After meeting Palm Palm, we are told the Express is going to warp soon, so we did the most reasonable thing. Explore our new home aboard the Express. First we visit the Bat Cave, where the Silent Knight resides, and then by respecting March's privacy. And with that, it's time. Palm Palm tells us to take a seat because it's time. Time for us to warp into a brand new adventure. And with that marks the end of the first episode of Harmony Only. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll check in next time as we get up to even more shenanigans. Take care, stay safe, and we will see you next time.